So I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but I wanted to kind of make a dedicated video to explain why I kind of like server-side rendering and why I think it's a better user experience. So we have an application here, and this is using Firebase Auth for this header here. So if you click here, you see that we're logged in. We have my email, but I want to show you something. When I refresh this page, you'll see that when this thing first loads, it'll say sign in on the top right. I'll do that a couple times. So after about half a second, the front end React code will initialize and then it does some type of request to figure out if we're authenticated using the session. But there's like a flash going on because stuff has to run in the front end before we can actually see the real, you know, in state of our UI, not the best user experience. So this is where server side rendering is really useful in terms of making your user experience much better. So I am using the app router in this example, and I have a layout here. And let me kind of show you how this works. So we have the layout, which basically has a nav bar, and then it has some content. So that's what you're seeing on the page. We have the nav bar up here, and this nav bar has a use client keyword at the top, right? So this is a client component, which means that all of this React code is basically going to run when React mounts to your front end and initializes and does all that. But you'll see here is that we have a user that I'm grabbing from a use auth provider. And this is initially going to be undefined, right? This is going to be null until React initializes and does that lookup, right? So let's go to this use auth provider and try to understand what happens in this. So what this thing does is when this runs on the front end, it runs a use effect to figure out what the user session is. And then it sets the session on React state. And then it sets the user on React state. And this whole delay is what's causing the flash in the front end, right? The header doesn't have the latest up-to-date information until a certain amount of time has passed in the browser to show that. And this is going to be even more slower on like computers that don't have fast network connections or computers that have slow CPUs. This will just be stuck with sign in for like a while until it finally finishes running all that code. All right, so let's try to fix this on our server-side rendering page. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load in some code Again, I'm using Supabase for this example. Um, so I'm bringing a create client, and that is going to allow us to do queries against Supabase and check if authentication is set up and stuff. So the next step is we can get some data back. We can say await session. Okay, that'll give us back the session. And if I were to kind of log this out, you will see that on the server, when this endpoint runs, it prints out the full session here. And on the session, we have the user information. So when the user hits the page for the first time, the back end has all the information it needs. And we don't need to let the front end do all that refetching, right? So what we could potentially do is change up auth provider a little bit. And I could potentially just pass in the session here. Okay. So I will pass in, I'm going to rename this to session. So it's a little bit clearer. And now we can go to the auth provider. And we can modify this to also take in a session, which will be a super base session. So let's just go ahead and do this. Okay. So now let's make sure the TypeScript's all good. I think I need to put parentheses there for session. Session or null. Session or null is not assignable to session or undefined. Okay. So I need to make this, um, unfortunately I got to do this. Okay, so what we're doing is we're passing in the session to the provider. And when this server side render component runs, it actually runs through all your React code. And even for the use client components, it still does an initial run through, right? It's going to run through once and set everything up. The only thing it doesn't run is like the use effect things that actually waits until it's on the front end. Um, but let's click on the auth provider here. And what we could do is we can default this to the session that was passed in from props. So I'll say props.session, and technically this could be props.session.user. All right, so now what we're going to do is on the front end, when this loads, the server, again, is going to fetch all the data. It's going to get the session and the user, passes that down to the provider. The provider is going to have some initial state set on it, and then that's going to be streamed to the front end so that when I first refresh this page, Notice that the sign in button no longer shows. It's just a picture of the user profile, right? And there is a little bit of flickering going, and that's because of the image not being cached. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have like my cache turned off. But you'll see that now the user experience is actually much better because when the person first loads the page, there's not like a bunch of shifting going on. There's not like loading going on. You just get to see 
the actual final state of what the page should look like. And that is a much better user experience. So the main takeaway is using the app router, every single page is server-side rendered by default. And the idea is that if there's any type of data that you can fetch and send in to your client components for like the initial state, you should probably do that because now the page is going to basically show all of the data up front and not have to do a bunch of loading on the front end. Now I do think there's a little bit of trade-offs of doing server-side rendering versus client-side rendering. For client-side rendering, the page has to load, so your browser has to make a fetch to the server, and then that server sends back some JavaScript and HTML. And then React will find any type of API requests, and that'll fetch data from the back end again, right? So it's kind of doing like two trips to get the, the current page to the latest state it needs to be. With server-side rendering, you make requests, the database in the server is doing all that work for you, making your final HTML and then sending it back to the client. The client will show that and then set up React. So what ends up happening is like the page might take a little bit longer to load up for the user, like the entire page, but overall they will see all the data when it loads versus client sign rendering is when like you'll see a bunch of things like show spinners and then that has to make a request to the database and get the data back. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to share with you all. Server-side rendering by default, I do think it's a better option because again, it improves your user experience. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, press the bell icon. And like always, I have a Discord channel. You're welcome to join if you just want to find a place to ask questions or get help with programming. Have a good day and happy coding.